you not fucking with my team, the movie star, then you's a bitch ass motherfucker. And I'm not just talking about niggas and crackers. I'm talking about motherfuckers that live all over the world, man. Mikey T, the movie star. You're now flying with First Class Films. First class <laughs> uh, Jack, what's all the talk of, uh, you know, guys making a, a follow-up straight out of Compton and 50 was thinking about putting his hands in it? Hey, man, yo, it's about to get real up in this motherfucker. You know I'm playing Nate Dog. That's why I jumped in the shit and, you know, make liaison the whole thing. Nate Dog. Oh, yeah, I don't look like Nate Dog to you. I mean, uh, you know, I figured you could hit it the notes. Well, why everybody keep saying that? I believe you can say it's good to Nate Dogg, but I don't think you look like Nate Dogg. Well, I mean, if you're training for a fight, I guess you could take down a couple pounds for the role of Nate Dogg. I would take down some pounds for Nate Dogg. Uh, how much you, yo, did you know how much Nate Dogg weighed? I'm not sure, but... I'm just saying, though, you do, well, how much you Nate Dogg, do anybody know how much Nate Dogg weighed? I'm going to put on a waist trainer to play Nate Dogg, fuck. Have you ever thought about maybe playing Shook? Maybe you could have played Shook. Hey, Shook called me one time, real tough. Yeah, that was a scary night. So uh, this movie uh, is it? Welcome. Uh, what was it called again? It's DPG. Dog Pound, Pound for Life. Yeah, yeah. Dog Pound for Life. Mm -hmm. First, uh, people, how would that feel to you as a sequel to this movie? Hey man, I want to see down uh, uh, Dog Pound for Life. Real talk, because you know um, it, it's a lot of crazy stories that I heard hearsay about Dog Pound. You know what I'm saying? That like you, I feel like if they brought it into real life, people would be able to see it on. Uh, 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 screen, they will be just as entertaining as NWA. Real talk. 50 know that too, that's why he was co signing the shit. It's gonna be more of a death row movie. That's what Sugar called me about. So he called you recently? No, before he, it was a year ago. Hey, baby, it was about a year ago, right? Yeah. About a year ago, he called me one night, like late night. You know, well, of course, it was before he had got fucked up in that shit. Yep. You know, and you know, I, I guess he, the reason why he got fucked up because he heard I was being portrayed on the script and whatnot, but he was like, yo, what's happening, uh, can I speak to Jack Dool? I was like, yeah, what's happening? This me? What's happening? Who did? The Shug. I was like, Shug who? He said, who the fuck you, who on the Shug you fucking know? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know fuck, yeah. I didn't know no Shug, except Big Shug, Shotgun and Shug in there, yeah. but he, Shotgun and Shug don't be talking gangster like that. I don't even believe Shotgun and Shug got a shotgun. But anyway, he was like, I was like, the sugar guy? He was like, yeah! I was like, ah! I started screaming inside. I balled up, went in the corner, and I was like, hey, so uh, how can I help you, Shug? Um, and he was like, hey, I need to um, uh, take a meeting with you. I said, okay, oh shit, where you at? Because I was scared, I didn't know if he was in my front door. I'm not. And he was like, I'm in LA. And uh, you know, I said, We ever met before? And he was like, Yeah, I think we met before. I was like, No, we didn't, because I remember if I'd have met Shug before. But I know what he sounds like, because I've been knowing Shug since I was a little boy. I'm 33. But I knew Shug since uh, I was 12. When, goddamn, these motherfuckers just came out with the death row shit. You know what I'm saying? And so he was like, yeah, man, I want to talk to 50 and shit, da 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 And I'm thinking to myself, all the shit you were saying, I, I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to ask 50 that shit. Show up at his video shoots. Nah, yeah, exactly. 30 Mexicans. You, you heard about it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. So I was like, look here, give me a drop for 16 or better, and I don't goddamn tell 50 what's happening. You for real? I swear to God. So tell me what happened. Shoot, didn't do it. He didn't do it? He didn't do it. That doesn't make no sense. Yeah, he didn't do it. And he didn't want to help me. And so I didn't want to help him. And yeah, I, I still thought he was going to get around to killing me, but I was like, not like this. And uh, yeah, that, that was the end of me and Shook business right there. He called me like three more times asking, hey, what's up? What's up? You going to get to do that shit or what? Hey, man, where my drop at? Where my drop at, Shook? I didn't say it like that. I said, hey, uh, did you get a chance to do my drop yet? That's how I really said it, but yeah. So you would not have went and met up with Shug in a, a studio or anything? Not by myself, without police. I, I asked him if he wanted to be at the police station. He didn't want to do it. And, I, and he, yeah.
But honestly, how did you feel that Shook was depicted in that movie? I thought he, I thought they did a pretty good job with his character. I believe Shook. Oh, let me get off the phone. I'm gonna call you back. Yeah, I believe that's how Shook was for real, for real. I think that that's how Shook really was. Yeah, I think Shook maybe was just a little like I think he didn't really understand how they would. Do it. They, I they, think they, they do a good part. You know what it is? Nobody wants to be depicted like that. And it, at the end of the, the latter days of your life, do you really want to be depicted as someone? who terrorized people and tried to hurt people after you a grown ass man in your mind. Well you know, if that if Suge's movie doesn't want to if Suge's own death row movie does not depict him like that, I don't want to fucking see it. Hey, I don't you know I don't want to see a death row movie. I want to see a Suge Knight movie. The guy who started out being a bodyguard for $70. That's a success story right there. Yep. Went up, down, up and down and then all see that how to because when you think about it like how does it happen it's almost like the OJ story well honestly you know this last thing this last downward spiral is what like OJ it's what um it, it's what reinvested in his story it's what you know like made people interested in his story again before this before this happened before he ran that dude over people were bored with him they were like should he got knocked out no, one time. We don't want to see Shug's night story, but now Shug's in jail. Everyone really wants, wants to see a story. I want to say, uh, yeah, fuck the Death Row movie. I want to see the Shug's night story. Here's the movie that I think I want to see. The next movie from 50 Cent that I want to see. It's funny that you even say that. We was talking about this in the office today. I Let's see if you see, say it right now. I want to see Get Rich or Die Trying Part 2, where it dives into 50 Cent creating G-Unit, dealing with 50 Cent. I'm uh, dealing with uh, Eminem and Dr. Dre, I mean. That's what I want to see. That's the only thing I think that people might be interested in seeing uh, another music movie from 50 if he dives into like how we actually, how it all went down once he was famous. Hey, you know what? I'm going to let Mikey T end that out with that right there. And I ain't going to say what 50 Cent want to see. That, I'm going to leave it right there. That was dope. I'm not saying it's got to be called Get Rich or Die Trying 2, but... That was the perfect way to end it. You're now flying with first class films. First class films. <laughs>